Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve LeVay with the T3 Live Halftime Report. Currently, we are up 440 in the S&Ps, unchanged in the Dow, and unchanged in the NASDAQ. Not a very exciting market, but there were a couple trades today. Uh, let's get right to the charts and talk about them. First one, my baby, SRPT. I fought long and hard with myself last night. I wanted to take this stock home overnight, and I said to myself, you know what, I'm too risk-averse, I'm not going to do it. Boy, was I wrong. Look at what this thing did right at uh, 7 o'clock this morning. It came out with good drug news. Currently, it's up 25 bucks, gang. Um, as you can see here, it ripped right off the bell. Or, or it came in off the bell, excuse me, and then ripped right through the five-minute high and never looked back. Currently, we're setting up what looks to be a nice bull flag here between 38 and the highs of the day, 43. Would not surprise me if this thing saw new highs on the day. I'm going to look to get a position, uh, you know, probably in the 38 half, 39 half range for a move back through the highs. So we'll see what happens as the day goes on. The other stock that I made money in is uh, PANW, a low volume trade. However, if you look here, we've got a nice downward channel on the daily that has just been violated by a move higher. At this point, there's no reason to think this stock won't see the 67, 68 range. It's currently at 64 half. Um, I started buying it at 63 and change, um, you know, a little while ago. And look what it did. It's right about here. I bought it, caught a little bit of the move here, then pulled back in, held 63 and ripped right to 65. So with that, I'm just going to see what happens. You know, maybe it sets up for a new move. Through new highs today at 65. It's bull flagging right now between 64 and 65. So uh, this afternoon could be interesting with this one. The last trade I didn't make money in, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. It was FDO. Uh, FDO came out with lukewarm earnings, lowered EPS guidance. And in my mind, I had an opinion that the stock was going to go down. I shorted a little bit. Uh, and I wound up losing. It was the only real losing trade I had. Lost a little bit of money on the short. Luckily, I got out before it took off here. But again, it just goes to show you guys, you can't really have opinions with stocks. Let the action dictate what you're going to do with trades. And with that being the case, it'll save you a lot of money. So with that, everybody, good luck the rest of the day. I will talk to you all in the VTF later on. Hi, I'm Scott Redler, Chief Strategic Officer for T3 Live. And I would like to invite you to join us on October 6th and 7th in New York City for our first annual T3 Live Active Trader Super Conference. The two-day event will focus on what we believe to be the five keys to being a successful trader. We will teach you the strategies, tactics, and mindset we take to the market every single day. And you will leave the Super Conference with a personal step-by-step -step success blueprint. Visit t3live.com and click on the education tab on the top of the page and watch preview videos of this event Seats will fill up quickly, so be sure to reserve yours today. My colleagues and I look forward to meeting you. Have a great day.